All right, this is your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled, Are You One of the Chosen? Now, I got inspired to do this lesson because of Elder Manata Zakba from South Carolina, uh, from his channel right here, GMS South Carolina 08. He uploaded this episode of The Twilight Zone, and uh, pretty much within this episode, they showcased uh, salvation and they showcased destruction. Now, within the episode, because I'm not going to play the whole episode, I just wanted to play pretty much the end of it so you can just see and visualize things, you know, with your spiritual eyes. So pretty much uh, within the episode, there were these aliens and <laughs> there were these aliens or whatever going door to door, giving random people DVDs. And before they gave them the DVD, they would tell them, like, man, you don't have to worry about anything. You have been chosen. And on the DVD, they had the person's name written on, you know, on top of the DVD. And then all you had to do was just go in the crib, put the DVD in and watch it to the end. And then everything will be revealed to you. But um, the main character within this episode, he didn't watch it completely. He just, you know, looked at it as something that was bugged out. He looked at it as something that was ridiculous and he left it alone. You know, he just left it alone and everything like that. And then he started to see, you know, the people that were close to him uh, believe the aliens, you know, uh, his girlfriend or whatever that, that I guess was his ex-girlfriend. She ran up to him and was like, look, if you, you know, you can still be with me and everything like that. But, you know, just go look at your DVD. And she told him that you were chosen. And he started to look at her like she was an idiot. <laughs> and so at the end of the day, you know, fast forward to the end, which I'm about to play. Uh, they showed him pretty much going wild and everything like that. And they show him being destroyed. And they showed the chosen being beamed up. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to play, like I said, I'm just going to play the end right here. And then, you know, we'll speak about it more and then we'll grab a few scriptures. So let me turn the screen this way so it could be full screen. And then we get right into it. Hold on, so I can, let me see if I can, yeah. That quality was whacked to the fullest. <laughs> All right, let's start it again.
Vance, it's clear now. You were never meant to be chosen. Bye, Vince. I really did love you. Came back for you, buddy. Sorry you won't be with us, man. I watched this uh episode today and um i ain't gonna front you know it was a uh, definitely a faith booster you know to you know keep striving and keep pushing for this truth and everything like that because um when you know i'm looking at it from the truth standpoint you know they literally show you know the angels you know because we already know that's what it's going to be it's going to be how shine the angels beaming up the elect okay and as you can see the number of people that they save was very small and the scriptures speak about that as well only a few are chosen it's going to be a small remnant of israelites consisting of you negroes latinos and native americans that's going to make it okay and then they showed them being, being beamed up they didn't show them you know the the chariots or anything like that but they did go into the sky and that's written in the scriptures and the thing that did it for me was uh when you heard the 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 sound you know the what they call that was you know the you know that thing it's it's not coming to my mind but you know that sound the alarms you know you heard that that instantly put me in like oh shit like it's about to go down and then he was looking around and he he heard and saw the first blast from the nuclear destruction because you heard the lady in the tv from earlier in that clip she was like yeah it's a nuclear war going on and um after that, you know, you heard the crashes from the missiles. The zzz, zzz. You know, the, the earth is shaking. You know, he over here can't even walk because everything is shaking because that's how powerful those missiles are going to be. And that's how hard they're going to hit when they come over here, man. And, you know, you can only imagine, like I said, you just saw him laying on the ground and all he can do was just look at that mushroom cloud, man. Only thing he can do is just look at the fire that was coming toward him, man. He couldn't do anything about it and within that moment you know pretty much that's going to be the, the the rest of this world man they're going to have that one final thought where they're going to be like man i should have been in this truth i should have did what i was supposed to do now look at me man you didn't saw the leg getting beamed up that's what it's going to be man a lot of people that's going to see the, you know the different brothers and sisters get beamed up they're going to know some of those people man they're going to be like wow he or she made it and they used to tell me about this and like I said, the only thing that they're going to be able to do is just literally just lay there like he did and accept your fate, man. And that is to be destroyed. Like I said, from what, what did for me was the, the sound effects, you know, the crashes of the missiles, the zzz, zzz, you know, all of that, man. It really just put me in the spirit where I'm just like, man, look, just like Elder Kazak <laughs> from Mississippi said, he was like, man, none of this shit in this world matters, man. If you in this truth, this is what you're supposed to be doing, man. This is what you're supposed to be doing because you don't want to end up in that situation. That situation right there, man. This right here. This right here, nigga. You know, <laughs> it's a lot of you, but you know what I'm saying? This, this is...
salvation. A new dimension. One of life's perpetual losers to make the wrong choice. And wind up just another cinder on an ash heap somewhere. In the twilight zone. Like I said, it's not worth it, man. Denying is truth. Denying you have about Shami Yahweh Shai is not worth it. To be in that situation, man, it's not worth it. This world doesn't have anything to offer you but death, as you just saw. That's all it has to offer you. This place is going to be destroyed because it's polluted with wickedness, man. This is why we should be in the spirit of mourning. This is why we're supposed to be praying and hoping for salvation. Like you just heard him say within a video. He was like, he denied his salvation. And that also shows you that, um, you know, the, the, you know, the, you know, Hollywood and everything like that. They know the truth, man. They know what's getting ready to happen. All right. So let's start off with this. This is Matthew chapter 22, verse one. It says, and Yahweh shall answer the spake unto them again by parables and said, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding and they would not come. Again, he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come into the marriage. Everything is, is already prepared, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has everything prepared for his elect. We want to be part of that, man. We want to be the first fruits of the kingdom. We want to see it being built, built up from the ground up. We want to experience the crown ceremony. We want to experience our presses going down, so forth and so on. Verse 5, it says, But they made light of it and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise, and merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. <laughs> but when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. Then said he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways, as many as you shall find, bid to the marriage. And that's exactly what brothers are doing right now. They're going out into the highways and the byways to bring out this word, man, to give you the warning, because this is what's getting ready to happen. The angels in Yahweh Shai is getting ready to destroy this place. And of course, you know, World War III is ultimately going to destroy America, all right? And we don't want to be part of that, man. So we're going out there to give the warning, telling you it's time to get right, man. Verse 10, it says, So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good, and a wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he said to him, Friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, nuclear destruction, man, because you're going to feel that fire, man, that billion degree plus fire, man. You are going to feel that, man. Like it says in, uh, I believe it's, uh, 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 I forget what it's at, but, um, you know, it tells you that your, your, your eyes shall melt in your holes and your tongue's going to melt in your mouth, you know, because that's how hot it's going to be, man. You are going to melt. And here's the point. It says, verse 14, it says, for many are called, but few are chosen. So there you go. Like I said, when you look at that, uh, that end clip, it's only a little bit of people out of that whole, even they, even if they just wanted to paint out just for that town, only that, it was only, what, like 25 people? 25 people made it, and everybody else had to suffer that nuclear destruction, man. It's going to be the same way with the elect. It's going to be the 144,000 with the... Um, with the other remnant, the great multitude from the different peoples, kindreds, and nations and tongues, okay? And that's even going to be a small number. Out of the whole world, that's even going to be a small number, all right? So at the end of the day, this was getting ready to happen, you know, because a lot of people are not preparing themselves for the return of our Lord. And that's what it is. Just like him in a, in a clip, man. He, they were out, they have, out here giving him the warning. Like I said, when you pay attention to the episode... Um, I believe everybody watched that DVD to the end. So they were being exposed to what those uh, aliens had to say, you know. And then after that, it was like, man, hey, we good, man. And that's the same way we should be because we came into this truth. We understood this truth. And now we're able to understand and actually see the visions of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. We can see that destruction is coming. I mean, just look at the state of the world right now, man. It's very evident. It's very evident. Let's give Mark um, 
3, I mean not 3, but uh, Mark 13 and 30. And it says, Verily I say unto you, that this generation shall not pass till all these things be done. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. Okay, this is what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be watching. We're supposed to be praying. We're supposed to be hoping, fasting, doing all of those things for Yahweh by Shemin Yahweh Shai, because we don't know when the end when the end game is. So you're supposed to get yourself ready. We're supposed to be ready for this, man. Like I said, the most I said, seek him 10 times more. Seek him early while he may be found. He could be found right now because the prophets are still on the streets. The videos are still being uploaded. This is him giving out the warning. He's also giving out the warning, you know, uh, throughout these different events that's going on. Just like the major one that was uploaded today with the uh, the trucker. Looked like an Edomite man, all right? And um, he went to the gas station. And he had to fill up his semi truck. And he paid a thousand dollars to fill up the gas. And he said, "Man, just imagine what it might be next month." He was like, "Man, a lot of these uh, truckers, they're gonna stop driving because you know a lot of them are independent. They're not gonna be able to afford it, man. They're not gonna be able to afford it." And he said within a video, he was like, "Look, man, this is how you all get your milk, your food, your essentials through us, through the truckers." Okay, so we seeing these things play out you know time and time again man so at the end of the day if we seeing these things happen just like the scriptures say what kind of person should you be you're supposed to be in the spirit of mourning you're supposed to be in the spirit of man let me get right mm -hmm. let me not make any mistakes you know we understand we in this flesh and we gonna you know do something that we're not supposed to do or we're gonna go off every now and then but the difference is we don't live in sin man we get to the point where we just like, look, man, this is all we need to do, man, because we realize we're about to lose everything anyway. We're about to be pilgrims, man. We're about to be pilgrims. We're about to be thrown into prison, so forth and so on, man. The Lord getting ready to come back. So the only thing that we need to do is focus on this. Verse 34 it says, For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at even, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. And just like the scriptures say, uh, um, it's time to wake out of high sleep, because our salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. The Lord is getting ready to come back, man. You got to understand what's happening in the world. The Lord is getting ready to come back. He's getting ready to take back what's his. And the Lord is all about judgment. The Lord is all about judgment. Before he take back what's his, he's going to get rid of the filth that's here. And the ultimate way to do that is through fire this time. And that's going to be the thermonuclear destruction. So this is what we need to be a part of right here. Revelation 18 and 4. It says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. The Most High have not forgotten the things that have been going on in this earth all the way into this very second. Okay, and we also use Revelation 18 and 4 to say, come out of her, my people, saying like, hey, man, come out of this world. All right, stop sinning. Come on, man, get with it. Is that bacon cheeseburger really that damn serious? Is celebrating Christmas really that damn serious? Is it? Is it? All you got to do is just go to, that, <laughs> go to that clip, man. Go to that clip. Look at him, man. You see them, you know, you heard the alarms go off, you know, loud as hell. You seeing the destruction? You feeling the missiles hit the ground? Do you really want to be in that scenario? Is it really that serious, man? And like I said, we are literally a chosen people. We are, are peculiar people. We are literally royalty. So why do you want to be a part of this world where you know that you're more than that, man? It's time to get with it. So read it again. It says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. One of the plagues is that nuclear destruction, man. You don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> like I said, you don't want to be a part of that. Do you really want to melt? No, man. The Most High is getting ready to destroy this place because of the iniquities that's going on. And this is written in the same thing in Isaiah 26. And 20. 
And it says, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. Okay? Speaking about the chariots. We're going to hide in the chariots, man. This is going to be our salvation. The only way to get away from this nuclear destruction is through the um, chariots, man. We literally have to get out of the earth. <laughs> we, have to, we have to get out of the earth in order to avoid this destruction that's getting ready to come. Because you got to really think about it, man. You really can't get in no airplanes or anything like that and try to, uh, you know, get away, you know, if you over here in America, man. Those fires are going to be tall. The Most High is getting ready to destroy a whole country completely. And America is huge. So those fires are going to be tall, man. Literally, we got to get out of the earth in order to be away and to be hidden and to be safe. That's why it says, come, my people, enter down to thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord coming out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. This is what the Most High is getting ready to do to this place, man. This is the dreadful, terrible power that the, the scriptures speak about. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. We, you read all throughout the uh, New Old Testament and New Testament. But, you know, definitely when you read the Old Testament, man, the people of, of, of that time, they was like, man, this is a terrible God. He's, he's dreadful. And he's supposed to be. You know, we you got to remember, we're supposed to fear him, man. If we don't fear him, we become proud. We start doing things that we shouldn't be doing because we feel like we have a way to overcome the most high, which a lot of people always say, which is weird as hell to me. But at the end of the day, hey, man, we're supposed to keep this fear, man, because the fear is a treasure of the Lord. This is what's going to get us out of here, man. Fear and faith. You know, when you in this situation or whatever, and then Esau ushering that karagma, Man, you better remember. You better remember that Twilight Zone. <laughs> you better remember that Twilight Zone. Be like, man, that dude got fucked up, man. You shit. Well, you saw you got to do what you got to do, shit. Hey, I just literally did a video about that, you know, a couple of days ago, because you know, um, Revelation twenty and four. That's a form of mercy, man. Which one would you rather go through, the guillotine or the nuclear destruction? Let's end it with this. This is Second Peter chapter one verse ten. It says, "Wherefore." The rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. For so an interest shall be ministered unto you abundantly in the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So when you look at that clip, like I said, when you all get a chance, you know, definitely go watch the episode. You know, it's definitely going to put you in the spirit. Man, I, you know, when you look at it, you just like, yep. Like I said, it really put me in the spirit of being like, yeah, man, you got to go hard, man. But like I said, when you look at the episode, you know, the aliens, they were walking up to people saying, yeah, you are chosen. You are chosen and everything like that. That was their way of saying you've been called into this thing. OK, because like I said, the dude that didn't make it, they said he was chosen. But then at the end, he started making the wrong mistakes. And then after that, that led him to be destroyed. OK. And then it was like, oh, well, now, now I know you were never part of the chosen. So at the end of the day, like I said, a lot of people are called into this truth, but that doesn't mean they're going to be chosen. All right. So you have to make your calling and election sure. Give diligence. OK, you got to do what you need to be doing for you. How about show me how was shot so you can have that confidence like, yeah, when this get ready to go down, when you hear those alarms go off and you see the chariots, you know, pop up in the skies and everything like that. You're going to be like, man, the chariot is going to hover above me and they're going to bring me up because I've been doing what I need to be doing. And I kept the, kept the faith until the end. OK, so this is what we need to be doing, man, because we coming into them times, man. This might actually happen by the end of this year, man. You never know. This might be the year. So it says for an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Wherefore, I would not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though you know them and be established in the present truth. So, like I said, man, this is what we're supposed to be doing. This is what's supposed to be on our mind day in and day out, you know, because we are definitely coming into uh, wild times, man. We're coming into wild times and we need to have the spirit of the Lord upon us, man. It's time to be holy. And this, this we need that's this that time, man. <laughs> Got to get with it, Jake. You got to get with it, because if not, you're going to be 
right alongside your best friend Esau <laughs> and your adulterous wife and everything like that. And you both of y'all going to melt just for the simple fact that you ain't want to acknowledge how about Shami I was shot. Speaking to you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. So let's get with it, man. Are you of the chosen? So I hope this was edifying. So with that, I'm going to say call Halayim, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akwath that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Ratzaza, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala, keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.